And it looks like we're going live. And here we are. And awesome. It looks like we're going live. Oh, let me turn off my sound there. And here we are. A little bit of an echo. Yeah, just a little bit. And uh, we're here with another week of Forge. We're doing another Saturday tournament. Very exciting here. We've got a bunch of great teams. I think we sent out the brackets earlier. And I know players are about to get started. So let's focus on this first match here. We've got Patience's team versus Tish's team. Uh, Titch has won many matches that we've had before in these tournaments. And he's I believe got... Titch is a two-time tournament winner, so he's going to go for his third week here, I believe. Oh, definitely. But uh, I'm looking at Patience's team here now. Yeah, he let's looks like he has a strong team. He, Bella Ferrantes, he was uh, in the last tournament, played Shaman, I believe, then. As well, really making a strong showing last week. Looks like, you know, we're starting off on this map. One team is, you know, Titch's team is deciding to play outside. Titch is on healer. He usually plays Pathfinder. Uh, so, really curious to see how he does. Both teams kind of tiptoeing around outside there, Alec. I wonder if we're going to see someone get knocked off. Oh, we we're certainly going to see someone get knocked off. That's like a trademark move on this map. Uh, almost every time we watch it, someone goes flying off. We're already seeing people throwing out some polas. So, I think we've got the right characters to see someone go flying off this map. Yeah, definitely. Titch is really getting pressured hard, uh, getting Water Bear trying to close in on him. If he has a stun trap, there it is. Huge play right there. Could maybe get the kill right here. Titch is at 4%. Oh, wow. Things are looking grim. He's at 3% right 3%. now. Doing a great job line of siding. He's able to pick himself yeah, up, but no patience. Alive, but he's down. That's it. Patience just cleaned that up with a huge shockwave right there. And unless there's some kind of counter kill out here pretty soon, it's possible. No, Tuckering goes flying oh, wow. off by Patience. That was it, yes. It was the knockoff. So, yeah, Sam a little low. Yeah, he's, right now he's in... Doing some nice wall jumps. Keeping stealthy. Ooh, oh, Patience uh, just off. laying it on right there. That's it. Yeah, so pretty quick, you know, not too much stalling. I kind of, both teams played really cautiously on the outside. Not a really big clash, kind of like tiptoeing in, testing oh, the waters. Definitely. Like, hey, who's going to get bullet first? Who's going to use their spells? Let's see something go on cooldown before we really engage. That's kind of what happened there, Alec. I want to see more of a, you know, Tucker and Titch, Samyaza. I want to see a little bit more of aggressive play style from them, Samyaza is now on Pyromancer, Tuckerain as well. So you, they have the double Bola opportunity. So if they play outside, they kind of have a pretty good advantage if they can get that Bola. Oh, absolutely. We'll see what happens. Yeah, definitely. They're moving right on the outside quickly. I think they're going to go for that type of tactic, uh, Alec. Yeah, yeah. I can definitely um, see that happening. I'm really curious to see how Patience's this team is going to... I wonder if they're going to just, you know... Cautiously wait. Maybe Patience is going to stand ground, get his determination up if he is not running any of the focuses, and then engage, or maybe he's going to try and stun and fling someone off right in the beginning. So we'll see what happens. Oh, there it is. Yeah. They're already going to get started from getting some, some long distance shots into Titch's team here. But with the dual Pyromancers, I mean, distance is their, is their best friend. So they're going to be able to do. A lot of damage. There's going to be a lot of healing going on over there. You can already see he's got the bubble down on Patience's team. Uh, yeah, I. There goes the charge. A double stun. Is, is he there. going to be able to knock someone off? It looks like Patience got a bullet as well. He did not get flinged off, which is good for him. Oh, Immediately yeah. going to spin. Uh, playing really cautious. They're not playing too close to the edge. It's kind of a you really have to set up a knockoff if you are going to go for that type of play. Uh, but, but right now, I really like the positioning by the Shaman in the back there. He's just able to heal Patience. Patience isn't going to take any damage. Water Bear can walk back to his healer if he needs to. Oh, and yeah. Titch is kind of in the open. They're, you know, they're really susceptible to the knockoff. Is where, Definitely are. You know, I mean, Patience I can see Titch team. getting getting a big hit. And, you know, when you've got two Pyromancers and no Shaman, they're not going to be alive very long. Yeah, so right now, it's just a... I really... You know, they're playing this cautiously, taking their time. You know, Patience will go in, do a couple hits with Water Bear, providing support from the back. And then Patience will back off, make sure he gets those heals. I, I like this type of play. Titch is stunned. Semyaza extremely low, Alec. 32%, 28%, oh, a big yeah. spin there. 
no knockoff. It had the potential to do it there, but he didn't quite get it. There was some blocking going down. And yeah, it looks like Titch's team is a bit of a trouble. Low. Yeah, oh, there it is. One Pyromancer's down. One Pyromancer's down. Water Bear almost getting flicked off the edge by that Bola from They're Tucker. really risking it. No one's, no one's afraid of that edge in this game. And yet only one player has been knocked off. Tish is, is getting very low, but he can heal himself a bit here. Two Curse of Flames. Tish does Tish's have the... Uh, he did have a link up for a short time oh, that Tish was giving him energy. He's gone. And now Tucker is, is the only dropped. player left. 6%, 3%, uh, gone. Oh man, down goes Tuckerain. All right, wow, so that's that, you know Is that's that two, two rounds wins for Patience's yeah, team. Duo Patience, duo Patience. So GG, that is the first round, guys. Uh, if this is your first time tuning into these tournaments, we do a best of three uh, and a that's best it. of five on the finals. Post. Here's a link to the brackets that I just sent out. Nice. I see players doing the same thing. Excellent. Uh, let me drop out of the game quickly. I think something's wrong with my audio, uh, and just I'm gonna I'm gonna jump back into the server in one second. Sorry All about right. the delay, folks. It's now Noob 3K versus Eradicate Steam. Man, I guess I was having issues with my green screen, too. I keep trying to switch to it, and people can see it. Oh, now it's working. Oh, wonderful. It's working? There we go. There we go. If I'm sitting oh, in man. certain positions, it works. But other times, not so much. Okay, but we got it now. Very exciting. People can enjoy the splendor of my green screen and our faces in little windows next to the Forge, the forge picture. Great. Yeah, so uh, we right. should be getting started with this next match shortly. I think we've got players jumping in. Um, and normally at this point, we do a couple key giveaways. Maybe we could do one now. Yeah, start it off while we're waiting for these teams so to get in here. what we're going to do is just have players... Let me see. I have to pick someone first. You have to pick someone's first. All right. Random drawing, RNG. Yeah, just so what we want the players to do is, is name who you think, whose team you think is going to win for a chance to win a key. You must be following us first, and then you can just post it in the chat. So we've got Titch, Patience, uh, Noob3K, and Eradicate. Name who you think is going to win. Oh, yeah, now a lot my of green screen's players. bugged again. I'm going to, maybe if I lean oh, to man. this side, it's terrible. Oh man, what's going on? Yeah, I know. Green isn't that, screen. Isn't that funky. Let me change the overlay so we don't have to look at that hideousness. I thought I could change it back, but oh well. Uh, so players, just name who you think is gonna win. Who are we waiting for here? Looks like we're waiting on. I think I think we have everyone. Uh, go to the next map, please. Okay, great. We're gonna just flip over to the next map. All right, let's see who wins. Uh-oh, Sylph Lord Sushi. You've won. Nice work. That's huge. So just shoot me a message on Twitch, and I'm going to send you a key for Forge after the tournament is over. All right? Awesome. Congratulations. Big win. Yep, shoot me a message on Twitch, and I'll send you the key. And now we're going to get started with the next map. Spectate mode. Uh oh. Camera lock. That's not good. Let me see what I can do to fix that. Hey, everyone is in here for the teams. They are locked and set underway. We kind of get a sneak peek of who is playing what. Um. Teams do have a Shaman. We didn't see any double DPS. It looks like Eradicate will be playing Warden. Um, currently the highest ranked solo queue player right now. I believe he is. I think I saw a 1920 or something was the highest rating. Oh, wow. That's huge. I, uh, which I he has. imagine that it would be him. Definitely. Uh, oh, so yeah. It looks like, okay, Eradicate is playing 
Warden, usually we see him play Shaman in these events. He does have a healer with him. That would be Doc's Logic. Playing Shaman. Pretty good Shaman. Solid player all around. Plays just about everything. I know Eradicate's the same way. Mainly plays Sin. Um, looks like he's going to be playing Warden today for us, though. This is going to be I wonder interesting. How yeah, I wonder how things are going to get underway. You can see Eradicate rocking his tournament winner. He won the last tournament as well. <laughs> so we'll see if he can keep that streak going. Looks like he's immediately going to engage onto Lance Vance Dance. And Lance Vance has a very nice spiritual burden that increases his jump height. He jumps quickly away, gains a lot of distance, and Eradicate just really hasn't been able to stick on a target so far. Kind of bouncing around. Xanatov getting pressured quite a bit. Moy with a huge flame wall right there. Right onto Xanatov's face. Oh, Things are looking great. That's, that's pretty intense. Xanatov is yeah. very low right now. They've got to do a lot of healing very quickly. Eradicate, you know, Eradicate's full health. Doc's Logic's picking people up now. They're hovering around the 60% mark. That's pretty good. Rick's playing really aggressive. I like that. He's really able to synergize with Moy. A big firestorm goes out. That's going to be a lot of AoE damage. Oh, yeah. Looks like a trap went down by Bricks, hitting one person. I believe that was Xanatel. still staying very far away. Just keeping yeah. his team together. But, uh, you know, Eradicate is right in there, causing a lot of damage. Let's yeah, see. he's doing doing exactly what a shaman wants to do, stay out of the battle. Yeah, Heal everyone's up staying quite healed up, too. I would have expected someone to be low at this point. Yeah, Moy dropping a little bit, but you see those heals quickly going out by Lance. Really doing a great job picking up, picking him up. If he can get a fervor out, that will be a 20% damage buff. If he can get that onto a teammate, that would be huge. Maybe push them towards uh, kind of more of a winning situation. Right now, it's back and forth. It's really hard to to damage that Warden, and right now he's just making himself the only target right in the front, doing what a Warden does, disrupting the battle, and things are starting to turn. Lance getting pressured pretty hard. Moy as well. Moy down to 14%. This could be a kill. Here. This is not good. He's backing up, staying with the Shaman. That's exactly what you need to be doing when you've just got a Pyro that's very low health. Now, he can still lay down some good damage, but the Shaman needs to keep him alive. And Lance is getting very low, too, so he's not going to be able to focus on killing the other players on his team. Both of these yeah, guys... Meanwhile, yeah, meanwhile, you saw Bricks got uh, spiritual linked for a little bit. That definitely drained him of oh, his mana. Oh, Bricks is gone! Dude, they, they dropped That's like it. flies. Amazing. Yeah. Is that uh, oh, two man. wins for Eradicates now? No, no, no. Is That's that just what, the first one? Well, okay. Yeah, that was the first one. Just the first one there. Yeah, they really just turned it around. I believe Doc's got a couple buffs out throughout the match, doing a really good job. He kept his team alive. He was more in the battle. I liked that. He chose to go offensive. He followed his Warden around. When the Warden got a stun, he knew he could kind of press in, get oh, offensive, definitely. maybe force the healer back, eradicate, now we're get doing a great with job. The match again here. Yeah, so looking to see pretty much the same thing. Xanatov playing Pathfinder. He's going to, you know, he has that explosive trap that's going to. Add another stun to what Eradicate can do. He has a group AoE stun, and so does Explosive Trap and AoE stun. So a lot of stuns coming out. Really hard to cast if you're the if you're Lance's team right now. Oh, and a lot of light. pressure going out onto Moy right off the start. A flame wall does go down right on the Dox Logic. That was huge. Looks like they're playing double Pyro. They're playing trip DPS. We didn't even trip notice Lance DPS. switched to Pyro. Uh oh. Things are getting crazy. Right now, Moy is just really, really hurt. He's sitting in the back. I think that's the right choice. He did get a huge Firestorm off. A lot of AoE pressure. Xanatov extremely low. Doc's Logic really low. They're trying to uh -oh. press in for the kill. Uh-oh, what are they going to do? I don't know. Doc's Logic is getting hunted right now like an animal. This is brutal. But Brix is over here also very low. Brix is down. about to drop. Yeah, this is not going to last very long. Looks like Xanatov was the first to drop. Oh, it's wow. now a 3v2. If he can just hold off and block, Doc's Logic is really low HP. They need to focus him. Oh, a good uh -oh. flame wall right there. That is going to be quite a bit of damage. Doc's Logic, 14%, 9%, just getting pounded away wow, from different directions. Crazy. Rick's going to pick that up with with the uh, mouse one, and now I'm it's up to Rat. I'm very Noob's team right here. They're all very low health, but they're managing to stay alive. This is this is amazing. Yeah, Keeping 6% of Bricks. 7% on Moy. Looks like Bricks is trying to desperately block. He needs help. Oh, but Eradicate. he's doing it. He's 